So, politicians and businesses were perplexed after seeing the Huawei Mate 60 Pro disassemble. How did Huawei obtain a 7 nanometer chipset with 5G capabilities? This shouldn't be possible under the present sanctions. However, it is now. And thanks to a teardown video, the insides of the newly launched Huawei Mate 60 series are visible, which is a little concerning. The motherboard of the phone is seen here. The SK Hynix RAM chips that are positioned above the high silicon Kirin 9000S chipset can be seen instead of the chipset itself. These in and of itself are a mystery, so PBK reviews started looking into how exactly those got into the Mate 60 Pro. This is fortunate because the phone's 6.82 inches LTPO AMOLED display proved to be extremely challenging to remove and was permanently broken during the removal procedure. The Huawei Mate 60 Pro received a final grade of 5 out of 10 for repairability. It is tough to change most items because removing the display is required to have access to the internals. So, Apple began taking pre-orders for the iPhone 15 in more than 40 countries last week, and consumers are paying close attention to the handsets as they do every year. The vanilla variants are hardly better than last year's models, according to analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max is taking center stage. Kuo also projected that, despite good pre-orders for the iPhone 15, Huawei's re-entry into the flagship market with its most recent 5G phones would have an impact on sales. Huawei's comeback will inevitably have an impact on the iPhone, but the extent of this impact remains to be seen, Kuo said in his blog. Since those who pre-order iPhones are core users or Apple fans, not the target customers for the current Huawei phones, he was cautious to point out that this impact won't be felt on iPhone 15 pre-orders in the Chinese market. The Huawei Mate 60 and 60 Pro flagships were in high demand in China as well, with reports indicating that there were lengthy lines forming in front of outlets. The iPhone 15 base model and even the Pro model may sell less in China as a result of the Huawei flagships, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max sales may not be impacted. Another observation made by analyst Ming-Chi Kuo is that demand for the iPhone 15 Pro is weaker than last year, with one possible reason being a shift of more premium users to the iPhone 15 Pro Max this year. So, what do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.